Hi everyone, welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious and most simple way to make creme brulee. The first thing what we need to do is you need to put the oven on, on 150 degrees. And then the ingredients for the creme brulee is, here I've got in the saucepan, I've got um, 700 mils of full cream milk, that's whipping cream. And I've put the gas on, on medium uh, to heat, the, heat up the cream. And the rest of the ingredients, I've got seven egg yolks here. You don't need the whites, you only need the, the egg yolks. And I've got four teaspoons of vanilla essence here, seven tablespoons of sugar to go in, into the yolk. What will we also need is a larger tray to use as a water bath. And depends if you want to make your creme brulee individually ones in ramekins, but I always make mine in a flan dish and because it looks nice on the table when I, when I give a barbecue party or something along with the other desserts that I make. We'll also need a, a sieve and we'll need a hand whisker and you need a blowtorch for later. So while the, while the cream's coming, uh, heating up, what we need to do is you need to add the vanilla essence to it. Now remember, the milk doesn't need to come to a boil. It just has to be hot enough. As soon as you see it's forming a skin, you need to turn the gas off. Okay, while the cream is heating up, what we, do, what we can do is now, uh, put the sugar in the egg yolks and you start whisking it. Now you have to whisk it enough till you can see a clear color, a pale color. You see it starts to change color from like a orangey color to more like a cream color. And now you see that you can see all the cream is forming so now you turn the gas off because you do not want to boil the, the milk. And keep whisking this. It will take a few minutes. You can see now it's turned into a lovely pale color so while, while you're doing uh, whipping the egg yolks you need to put the kettle on at this point so make sure you have nice boiling water to go in into the uh, for the water bath so now what we do is now you start adding the cream little at a time okay so we do one spoon at a time so add and whisk at the same time Slowly, slowly keep adding till you put all the cream in here while you're still whisking it. There you go, I'm putting the rest of the cream now. So that's all in there. And now what you do is, oops. So now what you do is, you need to pour that through the sieve Now you can pour this into your whichever uh, things you're making the creme brulee if you're making it in the ramekins then you need to pour them in there but i'm using the tray so yeah put it all in here there you go and now you take a tissue make it into like a triangle so you've got a point to it and now you can sit and burst all these bubbles they're easy to burst so just fix it up okay try and get most of the bubbles out because you don't want bubbles on your creme brulee and now you 
you also need to put the kettle on while while you're whisking the eggs and all so the ke my kettle was already on or you need some boiling water so at this point now I'm going to get some water hot water so you put you can you have to put the hot water into this water bath and the water should come halfway up the creme brulee dish okay so keep pouring make sure the water doesn't go into the creme brulee brilliant okay so that's done so now you just take this tray and now you put it in the oven and let it be in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes okay as you see I've got on my gloves and my creme brulee has had its 35 minutes so put on your gloves so you don't burn your hands so you take it out of the oven now exactly 35 minutes and now you can take it out of the water it will be you can see it's a bit wobbly that's fine that's how it should be because as it starts to cool cool down it will start to set so now what you do is now you leave this out of the fridge for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes what we need to do is Put a cling film on it and then put it in the fridge for two hours or if you're making it the night before then but put the cling film on so it doesn't sort of dries up on the top and and then we'll after two hours we'll come and then I'll show you how to burn the sugar in it because that's the process the burning of the sugar on the on the custard is where it's got its name from the creme brulee so for now i'm going to just let it cool down for 15 minutes and then i'll put it in the fridge for two hours i'll see you then okay my creme brulee in the fridge has had its two hours so now what we can do is we're going to add the sugar onto it at least seven to eight tablespoons of sugar so you just sprinkle all the sugar and keep turning then just you can see here all the sugar will start leveling up and then you can there you go so now once you've put the sugar on top of that you take the blow torch and keep it six inches away around six inches away from the sugar and you start caramelizing it now and remember you don't put the torch on in one place because it will become black so as soon as it starts getting golden you start moving it there you can see it's starting to caramelize and you keep moving it keep moving Keep doing this till the full tray is nice and golden. There you go, it's nearly done now. I have to bring my blow torch a bit lower because it's running out of pressure. I should have checked that before. And and that's it. And then you just take. Now this, when I have a barbecue, that's why I make it in a bigger dish because then I can put it on my table outside with the rest of my desserts. So now you can decorate this. You can decorate it with, with some pomegranate. And some, you can use sort of butter biscuits. Oh, 
around and you can put some grapes in the middle so there you go that's my creme brulee and uh, and you when you tap it you can hear the sugar that's the sound it should make and then you just cut it like this and look at that it's beautiful absolutely i'm not going to spoil it because this is going on my table but it's absolutely delicious so i hope you'll all like the lovely creme brulee like i said it's very easy to to make you can make it the night before so if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again next week with some more delicious cooking